Hello, I'm Morgan Klein. And I'm Tatiana Coover, and we're here to help you get your tech on. A one-stop shop for the latest apps, devices, and computer software, bringing you the current trends in media and technology. This is Tech On. Hey, Morgan, how, how's that homework coming along? To be honest, I haven't really done it. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I have a lot of essays to do. <sighs> Too many to count. Speaking of essays, most students are bombarded with essay assignments their first year at school. Often, students rely on third-party programs like Open Office or trips to the library to write their essays. But one perk of being a student at Cal State Fullerton, among many, is that students have access to a variety of Microsoft products, and it's all for the very low price of free. The school offers students access to programs such as Word, Excel, Spreadsheet, and PowerPoint. Getting these student essentials is easy, in fact. The only requirement is that you're currently enrolled as a student at Cal State Fullerton. Check. To get the program, simply purchase a redemption code on your Titan portal. And don't worry, even though it says to purchase, these products are free. Sounds affordable. I'd say so. <laughs> Once purchased, you'll give it, be given a redemption code to activate the program. An installation CD will be made available for pickup at the Titan card desk in the Polak library. And for those who are running on older Microsoft operating systems, Windows 7 and 8 upgrades are also available for free to students. A former teacher at MIT has created a computer that can churn out a full essay in less than three seconds. Les Perlman, now retired director of writing, wanted to disprove that computers can grade pa papers better than a human. The essay made by the computer was grammatically correct, but just did not make sense. Perlman wanted to prove that computers cannot interpret meaning or check facts. Perlman's essays have gotten high scores on automated scoring software such as MyAccess. Essay grading software has recently been proven useful because they can review essays so much faster than teachers can. Despite Perlman's efforts, there are programs that are designed to grade more like a human. A team at MIT is building a software called Easy or Enhanced AI Scoring Engine that can mimic a teacher's grading style. Perlin believes that while not completely useless, these programs should never be used to substitute an actual teacher, but simply as a tool. I agree, coming from the daughter of a professor. Teachers are great, but sometimes classes can be a little boring. Or a lot boring. Or very boring, Very yes. boring. I almost <laughs> fell asleep last weekend. Oops. I remember that. It's a pretty Oops. picture. <laughs> and that's exactly when you take your phone out and you start taking pictures. Selfies. Selfies. But what if you wanted to take pictures using both the front and back camera of your phone? What a concept at the same time. That's what you can do with Front Back. This app of the week allows users <coughs> to take pictures using both cameras of their phone and combine them for a single picture. Add context to your selfies or show your reaction to a picture you're taking, like when I took one of Morgan sleeping in class. <laughs> Obviously, you have that? I have that, I'll show you later. <laughs> Obviously, it has Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr integration, but the app is also a social network in itself. It's a 1.0 version, so there's a possibility of an error or two, but it's still loads of fun. Who doesn't want to have more fun in class, right? Right. Here at TechOn, we always feature technological innovations with our Video of the Week section. But innovation doesn't have to be found in just technology. It can be in music as well. This episode, we're featuring a band of drones playing the variety of different songs. Let's take a look.
Well, that does it for this week's episode of Tech On, bringing out the latest information about technology and technical services. Also, don't forget to download the app of the week we talked about earlier. And for more information about edit getting a hold of the Microsoft software, contact the CSUF IT department. Thank you for joining us. I'm Morgan Klein. And I'm Tatiana Coover. Make sure you tune in next time to get your tech on.